There are five components of service quality. This includes reliability, responsiveness, empathy, assurance, and tangibles. Think of reliability as the ability to perform the promised service dependably and accurately. As in, you're going to do what you say you're going to do. The next one is responsiveness. This is the willingness to help customers and provide prompt service. If you've ever experienced bad quality customer service, you definitely know about this one, as in you wanted them to be more responsive, willing to help you and provide you with prompt service, as in quick service. Empathy is a really good one. This means caring, individualized attention, not only to what the business says one should do, but to what the customer actually needs. So if you have more questions, then to spend the time answering those questions, as well as understanding that every customer is unique, not just a number. The fourth point is assurance, which is knowledge and courtesy of employees and their ability to convey trust and confidence, which basically means the person providing the service knows what they're doing and they have the ability to project or translate that into trust and confidence for the customer, as in the customer feels comfortable and safe that the person providing the service knows what they're doing. And the last one is tangibles, appearance of physical facilities, equipment, personnel, and communication material. Now you're probably thinking, I thought services are all about intangible things. It definitely is. However, the tangible things that we do have in services allows us to build on that which we're trying to do. For example, uniforms can be an example of something tangible or a logo or promotion materials or billboards or a business card. It's important to also remember that not all dimensions are equally important to customers. Some are a bit more important than others. Service providers need to know which are which to avoid disappointing their customers. At the same time, they can't focus only on one dimension and let the others suffer as it provides a very incomplete service experience. For example, how some customers may rate the importance of these various factors. 32% reliability, 22% responsiveness, 19 assurance, 16 empathy, and 11 tangible. As you've noticed, tangible scores the lowest, whereas reliability by far the highest. And of course, in different industries, these figures can change around and depending on your target market, these can be quite different, as well as the service that you provide. Overall, as a business, it's important to know how our customers think, how they feel, and how they would like best to be served. You will often hear, treat others how you wish to be treated. However, when it comes to customer service or the service industry in general, this is a little bit different, as in try and treat people how they want to be treated. This is not always going to be easy, but you'll get better results. An example of service quality. Flight attendants offer tangible evidence of the service provided by an airline. Other tangible parts of the service includes the physical facilities, tools, and equipments used to provide the service as well as the appearance of the staff themselves. So think about this one. When you're on an airplane, what services do the airline attendants provide? Whether it's on the ground service, as in helping you to check in, whether it's in-flight service, providing you with meals, providing with safety instructions, or even helping you by providing with any additional information you might need. For example, a few years ago, I was working for a company called NBNCO, National Broadband Network Corporation Australia. And flying out of a small airport in country New South Wales called Armadale, I had actually left one of my bags behind, which was oh, very stressful. So being up in the air, there wasn't really much that I could potentially do. So I approached one of the airline attendants and I'd mentioned to them 
that, hey, really sorry, um, I was left with my bag back in the airport. What the attendant did was had a chat with the captain and they got in contact with uh, the control center at the airport and were able to arrange someone to secure my bag and get it sent to me in Melbourne, which was absolutely brilliant and a complete lifesaver. Of course, this is not going to happen with everybody at every airport, but it's an example of something um, a bit different and a bit special. In terms of physical facilities, tools, and equipment, this could be the various things that the aeroplane or the airline company in general has to offer. I remember during the last Football World Cup, I was flying from London to Toronto, and I was flying Etihad Airways, and they had the Football World Cup live streamed on the actual airplane itself, which I thought was just absolutely incredible, completely blew my mind. And these days, additional services could also include having access to the internet whilst you're flying long distances. 